Willkommen zu Tag 3. 5 Day Restorative York Series with Sean Vig. That's me. It's day 3. My friends, it is day 3 of our... Hello. Alright, you ready to stretch? You ready to make a huge difference in your health, fitness, and your life? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's go. It's just crazy. Sunny, feels good, but there's snow back there, so I'm gonna put the cap on. I usually wear the caps anyway, so my hair doesn't go everywhere, and I sweat. Beginning with seated figure four stretch. Let me mirror you. Why don't you take your right foot flat, bring your left ankle on top. Remember, do yesterday's first. Yesterday's first, that's down below, it's on the screen too. So from here, it's a seated figure four. Take your hands back. Feel free to walk this foot in closer if you're feeling that, and you're gonna push forward. I'm nice and warmed up. I just filmed like 40 minute power yoga with Pilates for, for Real Fit TV. So watch for that. So I am toasty. Gonna hinge forward, very nice. And rock it side to side. Breathing in the nose and out the nose. Focus on that breath. We want to always, as always, pump the oxygen into your bloodstream. Enjoy my new workout pants, too. I ordered them. <laughs> they have zippers on it. Okay. Now, really reach up, press forward. You feel that? The hip, the lower back, the IT band, and all parts in between. Flex that right foot, that left foot. Two more breaths. It's a little breezy today. But that's not going to stop us from doing our stretches, from restoring. Okay, this leads us into the fire log. Oh yes, the fire log. A couple shoulder rolls. Might be up here. That's okay. What we say here at Sean Vig Fitness is that you know we find where we are and we work from there. Let's do some side bends. I'll give you a front view here. We're gonna take it back and forth. You can hinge a little bit forward or a lot bit. Good, one more time each side. My spine is talking to me. It's going, thank you, thank you, thank you. Click, click, pop, okay. Now, shoulders are back. We have our fire log. We have our nose in. Shake the fingers behind you. Mudra, lace the fingers. Start by opening the chest. Two more breaths right here. Drop the hands towards the mat. Even it out. Nice and open. Now from here, you can also hinge forward. Keep the arms up. Go as far as you like. My pants are gonna come right off my butt. But you can't see that because you're looking down here. Five more breaths. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hinge forward. Let it be a challenge. You have to disrupt and disturb your body with every workout. I'm not talking about hurting your body, but you have to challenge it. So the body is always adapting. Always adapting. It's also fun. It keeps your mind fresh and inspired. It makes you want to go out and write an opera. One more breath. Okay, rise back up. Keep the mudra, keep the bind. Take your hands uh, to your right side. I won't marry you for this, they're on the right side. Shoulders back and down. Drop your head to the left. You can hinge into it as you're dropping. You get all these things going on. I always believe that multitasking is a myth. You can never give 100% focus to two things at once, but in these stretches and in yoga, you can keep adding and give total attention to everything. All right, other side. Oh, man. Itchy. Okay. Shoulders back and down. Drop the head and feel free to hinge. Oh, by the way, you have to check in below in the comments section. I need to know that you're here and I will respond to you. Let me know what you think of this flow of this series and how your hips feel. I usually get the most reaction from fire log. Two more breaths. There we go. Okay, take the 
arms back. Take the legs forward. This calls for a shake. All right. Shake it out. Start with the seated figure four. This time right foot comes in. Woo, left ankle. My pants are coming off. You know what to do. Or I'm sorry, I'm mirroring you. Mirroring you. Do the opposite of what you just did. Sorry about that. Okay, we're here and we work into it. This foot can be down here also. I'm going to rock side to side. I'm going to press forward. If you like, you can take a hand back and take the other hand here, nudging the stretch. Use, you got to take what you have and make it work when you can. So don't waste a single moment in these workouts, in these classes. Just checking for elk. Okay. They're all around here. Okay. And then moving into the figure four. Turn to the front. Remember, shoulders are back and down. And let's begin with those side bends. Back and forth. If you want to continue to melt into that fire log a little bit more, go ahead. It's very intense. But remember, disrupt, disturb, destroy. Okay, moving into the mudra. Set the tone. Posture, shoulders back and down. Lace the fingers, open. Open up, open the chest. We want to be careful that we don't always just hinge forward and do inversions. We want to do our back bends too. Oh, it feels so good. It's been cold here the last few weeks, really cold. Very frustrating. I wanted to get out here and film for you guys for a long time. It's finally happening. Okay, if you like hinge. Palms apart or hands together. Three more breaths. In the nose, out the nose. Don't forget to breathe. Your breath is the ultimate guide and negotiator into these moves. Rising up, shake it out for a moment. We're gonna do that mudra to the side now. Keep your fire log. Bring the hand either side, bring the hands. Whatever side it's not, drop your head the other way. There's the wind, oh the wind. And you can flirt with hinging forward. That's yours. Good fitness routines involve a lot of exploring, functional movement. Head. We get a good stretch in our traps, in our shoulders. All right, let's go to the other side. Start by opening and then bring the hands over, okay? Shoulders down. Avoid the rolling shoulders. Drop the head and go. Let's do five breaths in the wind. Day can be a little different where you're feeling these stretches are very profound it's as if you're putting a microscope onto your body onto your muscles your tissues your ligaments tendons every part of you I think it's what keeps some people away from doing these because it reveals too much but only in revealing these areas these weaknesses can we fix them and balance them out and not have to live with them Open up, oh, stretch, let's shake out the legs. So many options. Okay, a wide lunge. Let's go to that. These are around 10 to 15 minutes. I've already been going a little over nine minutes. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Take the right foot to the outside edge here. Walk the left knee towards the other edge. Hands are down. If this is too much, you can also lift this knee off the mat. 
shoulders back, no matter what we're doing. Posture and alignment. Now, now take your right hand, you can bring the foot further out, and gently press it out, out to the side. Also dip your left hip down right here. Do you feel that? that you know give me your feedback three more breaths what bring the forearm down all right going into one of our favorites I just did a series on this the pigeon take that right foot bring it across slide the left leg back really I mean really slide that left leg back. I think it's neglected a lot in the pigeon, in the world of pigeons. Be right over the center. Oh yeah. You know. Okay. Feel free to slide the arms forward. You can also cross them into a knot. K-N-O-T. Cross and bring it down. Five breaths. Breathe heartily, my friend. Slide the arms down or do the knot. Do my left arm on the bottom this time. Oh, a little movement within. I can't really teach you how to do that. Like no one taught me. I came into the pose and I my body says, you know, Sean, move side to side. It'll help me, it'll help me release more areas and hit more tight spots. So there we are. Three more breaths. Sean, what are you doing on the mat? Stop it. Oh. <laughs> I thought someone was there. I went, <laughs> I went to the moon for a second. All right, feeling good. Opening up that upper back with the hip. Let's walk back up. Football field is down there. I've done a lot of workouts for football players. We got pros and colleges doing my workouts, professionals, high schools, everyone. So these are these are so good for that. Okay. Now rock onto your left side. Bring the legs around. Time. Okay, we're just about there. Shake it out. Frog stretch. This is a big one. Frog stretch. Using the gravity to flatten out our whole bodies and open up our hips. I'm going to pull the mat back a little bit. 
and get the full effect. Hopefully you can still see me. This ground is, oh man, hope that's dirt. This ground is disgusting. Take the knees wide. Feet walking out, combination of body weight and gravity bringing you down. This is the frog. If you want, you can cross those arms again. I'm gonna do that or take the arms forward. I'm not putting my face into the ground. I don't care how much money you give me. Let's do some deep breaths here. Deep, uh, at least five or six. Stay in the frog if you have the knot, switch the arms. I'm not dead yet, crows. Okay, the crows are everywhere. Five more breaths. In the nose, out the nose. of it it might be there's some trauma right now in your hips so while I'm pushing the mat forward shake out the legs shake out the hips and there's a barrette okay let's finish where we begin from yesterday butterfly hold it here rock it side to side and that'll do it for day three of my five-day restorative yoga series Excellent work, my friends. Please, uh, right now, if you haven't done it already, check in below, comments, questions, feedback, smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow for day four of this very special five-day restorative restoration yoga series with me, Sean V. Please share it with your teammates, your friends, everyone, and watch for my next book. I'm working on it now, Yoga and Pilates for Runners. Yoga implies runners. It's the perfect uh, sequel to this best-selling book by yours truly. On my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes, over 100 yoga poses for all ages and fitness levels, as well as 25 complete yoga flows and training logs for all the major sports. Get your copy today, or perhaps you do better with four copies. Oh, <laughs>